I I owed my warm to the distinguished speaker. Rajiv Shah, who have devoted their valuable time for us. I am personally thankful to them for their views during this COVID crisis. I also welcome the participants of the webinar. I am also thankful your young and dynamic teacher of the education department, Srimati Shoma Saha, who have done a commendable job by venturing upon organizing this webinar. It is really a difficult time for all of us. We all fear the pandemic, COVID. We regularly face different kinds of inconvenience due to prolonged lockdown. Particularly the student community is very anxious for their future, for their career. And nowadays the final year students are particularly very anxious. I think at this juncture, the topic of this webinar focused on the psychological crisis, the mental stress of this of the stakeholders and students are the important constituent among the stakeholders. So I think they will be benefited. They will find certain useful suggestion, useful advice to cope up with the psychological crisis during this period of lockdown, during this period of uncertainty and anxiety. The topic of the webinar is psychological crisis of the stakeholders of education during pandemic COVID. I hope all the participants of the webinar will find the discussion in the webinar interesting and useful. I won't prolong my speech as everybody is waiting to hear, to listen to the distinguished speakers. Let me convey my best wishes to all the participants. I hope this webinar will be a grand success. With these words, I am taking leave of you for the time being. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Respected sir, Dr. Dhrunata Mukherjee, for giving his valuable introduction. May I now request our Honorable Sir, Dr. Arun Kumar Maiti, to welcome the chief guest and welcome the participants. Sir, please, a little. Thank you. <clears throat> My heart leaps with joy to find an opportunity to welcome the participants of the national webinar organized by. Department of Education of Ranaghat College in collaboration with IQS. Distinguished delegates, estimated colleagues, dear students and participants, good morning to one of all, one and all. It gives me great pleasure to grace all of your presence in the one day seminar. It is a glorious moment to extend my warm wishes on behalf of Ranaghat College. We are honored this evening by the presence of Dr. Amullo Kumar Acharya and Dr. Rajiv Shaha, who have done us great favor by giving consent to enlighten us with their talks through webinar on psychological crisis of the stakeholders of education during pandemic COVID. I want to convey my heartful gratitude to all speakers. The 
the COVID-19 and lockdown hampered the regular academic activity and we don't know when things will get normal. For this reason, we have to carry on academic activity online. As part of this effort, the teachers of Department of Philosophy, sorry, Education, have come forward to organize the webinar with their sincere effort in this challenging time. I am greatly thankful to them. I am also thankful to the members of IQAC and other supporting staff who have played an important role in organizing the webinar. I truly believe the engagement of students and faculties from different colleges and universities attending today will certainly make this webinar fruitful and productive. I feel honored to welcome all the participants and my fellow colleagues for taking a keen part in this important webinar. I'm sure that you all will feel enriched with knowledge after completion of this event. I welcome you all once again to the webinar and hope that you all will have a great time ahead. Thank you all. May I now request that Dr. Shantanu Gay, head of the Department of Philosophy, Ranagat College, to introduce our keynote address speaker, Dr. Amulya Kumar Ashari. Sir Shantanu, sir. Thank you, Soma Madam. Honorable Speaker, Dr. Amulya Kumar Acharya, working as an associate professor and head of the Department of Education, Okir Mohan University, Palasur, Odisha. He has completed his master's degree in education from Utkwal University, Odisha. Teaching experience, 17 years in higher education. He worked as an assistant professor in education at Panihati Mohavidyalay, Sodhpur, Kolkata, for 10 years under Higher Education Department, Government of West Bengal. Prior to that, he worked as principal at Ichapur B. Ed. College under University of Badwan. He worked as a lecturer at Jagannath Jain College, Chumri Silia, a constituent college under Vinoba Bhave University, Jharkhand. He also worked as assistant an assistant professor in B.Ed. at Isan Institute of Management and Technology, Greater Noida, UP. He worked as an assistant professor in B.Ed. at St. Vincent Palothi College, Raipur, Chhattisgarh. He has published two dozen of research articles in different national and international journals, also published a good number of chapters in edited books, and author of two books so far. Presented papers in different national and international seminars, workshop, conference, as paper presenter and speaker. Apart from that, he is good in handling administrative and academic responsibilities in his teaching career at different places successfully. His areas of interest are teacher education, guidance and counseling, educational psychology, trends and issues in education, and tribal studies. He is also 
members in editorial board of two journals and also lifetime members of AIAER and IATE. Hope we will be enriched by the knowledge shared by Dr. Amullo Kumar Acharya. Dr. Acharya, please start to deliver your lecture. Thank you all. Good morning, sirs. Uh, it's my pleasure and privilege to be a part of your webinar. At first, I would like to uh, congratulate the Department of Education, Rana Ghat College. And before going to congratulate, it's my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to Dr. Arup Kumar Maiti the chief pattern and principal of the college and Dr. Arunudai Mukherjee, IQS coordinator and Soma Saha, convener of this webinar. And also it's my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to all the faculty members of education and faculty members of the college, senior faculty members. So far as uh, this uh, topic is concerned, uh, you know, since the last uh, couple of months, uh, most of the colleges, institutions, higher educational institutions and universities, they are conducting the webinars or uh, workshop, or you can say the faculty development programs in different contexts. So this is a topic which is a burning issue. And you know the psychological crisis, the topic you have chosen, the psychological crisis of the stakeholders of a pandemic COVID-19. So, to allow you to give an opportunity to speak on this particular topic. And I have chosen a topic that is coping with a COVID-19 pandemic, a challenge for educational stakeholders. If you go back, uh, since uh, March, uh, 15th of uh, March, you can say 15th or uh, 18th of March, we are struggling. Uh, we are struggling with our day-to-day -day life. This COVID pandemic has devastated, has changed the life of human beings as well as uh, our education system. And uh, each and everyone from each sector of the society more or less affected by this COVID-19 pandemic. And this is a, a particular topic and that is a psychological crisis. You know the human being is a, a combination of uh, blood and flesh. He is having uh, different types of emotions. He is uh, living a particular normal of life and working, a, working in a particular system. And this particular pandemic has changed the total structure and system of a human life. I would like to highlight that ninety percent of our total population, you can say the uh, you can say ninety percent of uh, our students, world enrollment students, they are affected by this uh, pandemic. Almost 1.8 million students are out of school, or you can say they are um, they are uh, just uh, beyond the four walls of the classroom. And uh, you can see if you go through the total data, almost uh, uh, 216 countries, including territories and areas, they are affected by this uh, pandemic, this COVID pandemic. So this COVID pandemic if you go back, if you highlight the uh, affected areas, it's uh, all, all the sectors from our uh, social sector, economic, that psychologically, and uh, you can say the workforce, everywhere affected by this uh, COVID pandemic. And so far, uh, this uh, psychological crisis is concerned. You know, when uh, we are uh, uh, facing some uh, problem and there is uh, some uh, 
inappropriateness in our daily life that uh, we face uh, some challenge we face uh, some uh, uh, crisis we face some stress and this stress is a lot which a lot which uh, uh, which we feel anxious we feel distress we feel worried we feel fear of a, uh, something that you know that every day we are uh, listening this much of a population are affected in our locality he is affected he is affected and a virus is spreading uh, different areas of our locality so distress comes and as the students are uh, school and out of their colleges or universities and they also feel stressful at home and you know that it's quite difficult to be within four walls of a house and because our life is nothing like that we are happy enough we were having in a comfort zone but we are not having that comfort zone in our locality in our home out our at our home so it causes different violences at home and you know that many people are already experiencing the experiencing the huge psychological stress and who report and different you uh, can uh, find the different research studies which depicted that this uh, particularly this uh, corona um, uh, virus or covid 19 pandemic that, uh, that interrupted and that this that not only our family life not only our school impacts our psychosocial problems it affects our psychosocial problems this psychological stress it's a great concern for each and everyone because we have to manage this stress we have to manage this anxiety we have to manage our worries so this is the time this is the time we have to highlight why this how to handle this stress and this is the concern of each and every one this is the concern of the stakeholders of education to guide the students to um, our colleagues to guide our uh, parents how to handle this anxiety and worries am i audible yes sir cortisol and it is a adrenaline and also a cytokines that nervous system or the fight or flight response anxiety means we are a, when we are stressed we are anxious to something and our nervous system that also affects towards the due to the worries and anxiety who is the cognitive component of anxiety because of anxiety is because we are worried and defined by the various uh, it avoid avoid anticipated potential threats this uh, worry is also it's a anticipated potential threats and which is also great concern for each and every one so it is happening due to the uh, this uh, pandemic and most of us are affected due to this uh, uh, covid pandemic and people from each and every sector so if you go through the uh, beyond the uh, educational arena if you go on beyond the even if the community people even if the people those who are working in uh, uh, the um, organized and unorganized sector each and every one and even if a businessman and a shopkeeper those who are uh, having uh, uh, maintaining their daily livelihood out of that they are also having uh, they are also affected no one is uh, left behind to this one so uh, this uh, uh, what kind of space we used to have you know that uh, uh, it's a very important for each and every one 
that we need to understand our child we need to this is the psychological crisis say uh, how to uh, uh, how to face this challenge this psychological crisis say uh, is very important to each and for each and every one we have to identify this psychological crisis this is the role of the stakeholders this is the role of a teacher role of a parents role of a administrator to find out the crisis psychological crisis or stress the students they are facing so this uh, once we are detected the stress once we are identifying the stress then we can have a particular solution and we can also suggest how to reduce the stress so this uh, various kinds of stress you know that depression different types of stress due to depression as we are uh, uh, not going to every day to our workplace or to the schools or colleges we are depressed because there is no routine classes no routine homework uh, as we loneliness and isolation because most of the adults they are unable to meet their friends they are unable to meet their uh, um, colleagues and most of the friends uh, students they are unable to attend their colleges so they are uh, inside the houses they are not able to go out the houses so they are not able to utilize their leisure time properly so loneliness and isolation is a also cause of stress and lack of interest in activities because uh, for uh, you know for a week for two days or three days it's uh, all right to remain inside the room but when we are living inside the room or inside the locality or when we are most of the time we are spending at home so we are what we do we lack interest in different, doing different activities for uh, for the sake of uh, one thing we can engage for a particular time for cleaning the rooms for uh, um, that means say uh, engaging them in gardens for particular work but for all the time we cannot say you do go through the studies because there is a um, there is a not that much demand for the students the students are losing motivation they are like uh, they are losing interest and their um, creativity is also uh, diminishing day by day because they are not uh, confined to this uh, particular uh, online or e-learning and uh, because uh, the, our setup is uh, not uh, like that that we can study beyond the uh, classroom or uh, that means uh, off, cam uh, off campus off campus is uh, not very popular in our uh, country that we are uh, not habituated in that uh, system that is why that lack of interest in activities even if i have observed um, uh, only they are students they are watching and they are just uh, listening to the lectures uh, in uh, online classes after that they are not uh, going through the books so they are not studying they are not maintaining study habits so which causes because which causes also which also lack of interest in activities and anxiety as i told you anxiety is increasing day by day when it will when the school will open whether we will have exam or not whether we should get the marks what we had in our last semesters whether we will have this next next semester even semester whether we will have the regular classes or we will have the face to face mode uh, these are the many questions they are coming to uh, coming to the minds of the students so anxiety every day they are getting say for an example uh, uh, i am just telling you that uh, earlier what uh, the government said that we are going to open in the first week of uh, july then they said now in the august first week now again they are telling the most of the government state government and central government after august so these are the anxiety there when our, our school will open every day they are asking the students are asking even the same is the case in higher education also and lack of motivation lack of motivation beginning they were happy they are quite interest they had inclination towards uh, this online teaching but later on it has been observed they are lacking motivation towards this online classes they are lacking uh, interest to uh, attend the class regularly even if they are initially they were remembering when we i have classes now i have to remember i have to give a, um, uh, i have to um, that means a, uh, what you can say uh, i have to tell my son that you uh, do you have class today yes i have so now it's 11 12 now you had a class at 11 30 no i had i have forgotten father 
so these are these are the things they are losing interest they are losing motivation they are losing interest in doing some activities because they are loneliness they are isolated and they are in deep place uh, in the different uh, that means that vulnerable is among the adolescents because the children they are engaged in tvs they are engaged in a, uh, different video games and uh, uh, you can say um, uh, uh, different uh, creative activities they do but what to, what about the adolescents what about the higher education students they are they are uh, uh, they are you know they are very much sociable they would like to gossip with their friends gossip with their uh, beloved ones uh, and they are lacking the sociability even if same is the case in among the children they are not allowed to the um, play with their friends to go uh, to the fields uh, so these are the things they are facing so these are the challenges uh, and you which causes the sleeping disorder eating pattern you uh, when we are inside the room we eat again and again so most of the students they are getting fat so this is also a challenge when we are getting a fat and we are sleeping too much and also the we do not have a um, uh, we are not maintaining a healthy habits healthy habits of sleeping so we are sleeping at any time by uh, in daytime also we are sleeping sometime in afternoon but we had a routine uh, sleeping hours so this is uh, difficult in sleeping also and concentrating in worse this also causes uh, this also causes uh, the psychological crisis the psychological crisis and uh, also chronic health problem uh, when we are not doing anything we are not engaged in any sleepful activities or uh, any work or we are not studying we are not do a cycling we are not um, uh, running after the, our school so going um, and playing in the fields so what happened we are having some chronic health problems say for an example indigestion and all and uh, you know the various pain joint pains and all most of the children they are facing these things so chronic health problem that also a factor that also worsening the um, uh, health problem of the students and uh, these are the various things and you know the most of the things say uh, because uh, this uh, as they most of the adults they do not have any work i just visited uh, my uh, workplace uh, last week i saw most of the um, uh, most of the adolescents what they are doing as they are not allowed to move here and there in the evening uh, most of the adolescents they are sitting in a place uh, they are uh, uh, taking wines and all as uh, these are the substance abuse and the tobacco that has been increased uh, among the adolescents even if uh, the chorus and brown sugar these are also the sales of the, all these have been increased due to this uh, lockdown and we might have thinking if the school open or colleges open the students are uh, uh, vulnerable or they are more addicted towards the but uh, it is also observed the students even if they are not going out the adolescents they are managing have substance abuse due to they are not engaged in other activities as they are having empty mind as they are not doing anything as no examination is there they are not studying also there is no pressures of examination no pressures of homework no pressures of assignment and dissertation as such because most of the universities they are trying to manage uh, uh, to transfer that map through see uh, 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 carry forward their maps as they were having in previous examination so because of that they are not having pressure that much so where they will spend their uh, uh, leisure time where they will spend most of the time because the, at least six to seven hours they were spending at their schools or colleges or universities and by going and coming and to and fro in journey they were spending hours and they were spending one to two hours with their peer groups and the rest of the time they were busy in social media or other other activities or family in the work of the family and engage in their parents business or like that so they were uh, uh, quite engaged most of the time they were quite engaged so that is why so in this in this context we can say that we are stressful most of the adolescent students 
because you know the adolescent period is a stress and storm and it's a um, yeah, it's a period we do not judge ourselves what whether it is right or wrong so what people are thinking we are least concerned what we are doing that we think that that is correct so in this context so nobody is to take care of them nobody is to but one thing one goodness we have that we are this corona or covid pandemic that forced us that compel us to remain most of the time at home so this is the goodness we have we that life skill learning we can, we had a life skill learning how to maintain a life and how to uh, live without the uh, different uh, um, different words how we uh, different, without engagement without much engagement how we can live with inside the uh, four walls that we learn but in the same time if you go through the data of government data that uh, domestic violence is there and even if, if the father is not there father is at office and most of the adolescents uh, maybe daughter or son they are fighting with the mothers they are quarreling with the mothers or uh, with the uh, their uh, um, younger ones so this is happening so this also this is due to the stress this is due to the psychological crisis and they are demanding you give this one you give that one and when we are uh, uh, not giving their uh, them mobile most of the time you know another thing due to this uh, psychological crisis that also they are engaged in a different uh, on social and on accept Table sites they are using, and they are uh, also uh, this is psychological stress uh, crisis that will happen. That you will see that most of the adolescents now they are having eyesight, uh, they are having uh, headache, and uh, all this. I am listening. Most of the doctors, most of the uh, parents, they are taking their children to the doctors because uh, this psychological crisis. Because we are not engaged in other field, so we are uh, mostly acquainted with a. Uh, uh mobile or the laptop or with the electrical guard gates which affects adversely our uh, health our uh, um, chronic uh, uh, diseases that we are having so why it is important to manage stress and uh, um, train uh, resilience so you know helps people feel better so you know that our role of the stakeholder the role of the stakeholder role of the parents role of the teacher role of the um, role of the uh, community people role of the um, uh, role of the uh, ngos there uh, is to help the people to feel better to re establish control and continue to function uh, themselves their day to day life and improve immune response you know that uh, um, Uh, because uh, uh, as we are not uh, living inside the room and we we are not uh, working uh, we are not uh, um, uh, that means active enough so we are having different chronic stress and uh, chronic stress and even if you know that uh, most of the uh, hospitals they are closed most of the hospitals they are not having uh, the, um, the different facilities uh, as uh, we had earlier so because of this also that we are that we are uh, separate example particularly in red zones uh, in a, my in my uh, state that uh, jajpur baleswar bhadrak katak and khorda uh, uh, and ganjam these are the districts that uh, we are not uh, the, our health uh, um, um, that even if the people are having health issues they are getting fear to, to go to the doctors even if uh, uh, even if uh, Um, that we are having some problems we are not going so even we we are uh, we are controlling our we are controlling our desires when we are controlling our desires when we are controlling and taking pain of our disease we even if we are having simple disease in fact even if we are having some health issues but we are not going to the doctors but uh, stress how to st- reduce the stress because stress uh, stress can be reduced in different ways that you know that you have to engage the students in different creative abilities in different meditations mindfulness is another uh, issues that we have to be uh, dedicated uh, towards the um, different uh, values 
some videos and uh, some audios we can give to our students uh, to our uh, children and uh, we have to also keep uh, ask them to have a simple exercise exercise at home and uh, we have to encourage them we have to uh, give uh, so many stories so many uh, books uh, which have the uh, values which have the uh, social values which have the um, aesthetic values which have the spiritual values in that way in that way we can reduce stress stress among the students among the children and the stress coping stress during the covid 19 it's a quite important we can go to the next slide that coping with the stress during the uh, uh, during the covid 19 you see most of the students they feel sad they are stressed they are uh, confused they are scared and they are angry during this uh, crisis and talking to people you can trust can help contact with your friends and family so better you can uh, ask you if they are not feeling well you just give even if your son or daughter is studying in class 6 7 8 9 10 or is a higher class you if he is talking with his friends if sharing is with his friends don't um, uh, disturb him let him to talk because when we share with our experiences when we share with our uh, friends we can minimize the to be take care of uh, and uh, during and we have to change a healthy lifestyle he is doing and proper diet is very important and you know that uh, most of the uh, socioeconomic backward um, those who are living and they are, they are not getting a good support because as their income decreases the either they are getting half of the uh, what they were getting or they are not engaged or they are uh, they, uh, they have lost their job due to this covid pandemic so it's uh, quite uh, difficult to give them a uh, nutritious food but still then because this is the time we have to provide them nutritious food to gain uh, the immune system uh, and uh, this is very important then coping with stress during the covid 19 another slide uh, that uh, 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 that you are just uh, um, uh, help them as they can reduce their smoking and alcohol and other drugs that is quite important because substance when we are in psychological crisis when we are uh, residing at home we generally like to go out and uh, have uh, some substantive abuse that should be avoided because it uh, um, um, not only it uh, reduce our stress rather it uh, also uh, damage our nervous systems and other uh, um, parts of our body uh, so uh, limit worry uh, limit worry and agitation and listen the time as and your family spend watching or listening uh, whatever uh, you have to perceive other you have to encourage other you have to um, you have to uh, take care of uh, each and everyone and you have to is very important even if the stakeholders i am going to discuss about what we should do and what are the challenges and you know the challenges for students that is isolation or disconnection from others that is very uh, difficult but we have to do to feeling of failures and hopeless Um, um with pandemic most of us are not able to attend the examination say for example any examination net and uh, uh, neat examination other examinations are only delayed. Uh, we are studying and we as examination is delayed and we are feeling hopelessness so we have to encourage them you prepare yourself exam will be there and you target that one you will get a success in that um, you have to be success in that then uh, we have to get the time easy we have to be careful and tired adjusted and overwhelmed and we have to be careful and school closure will widen the ET because when the school closure most of the uh, students they are not having good activity they are uh, residing in inaccessible areas and uh, 
they are not getting uh, in touch with their uh, and so that that is also accessibility uh, problem internet connectivity issue and the protection and the safety of the children will have to set that and learning equality will in this if this will continue that you will find just uh, one week uh, or two weeks ago i had gone to pay the fees uh, at school uh, my uh, elder son and one parent he said uh, he asked to the teacher i have got only one android set and i have got two sons so uh, my elder son is engaged class and the younger one is uh, not able to get the another class in the same time they are having uh, the classes uh, online classes so whether they will have the same uh, class in when they will come to the school in face to face mode so this was the question of the parents you just see what would be the condition of that children if the elder one is uh, engaged in the online class and what would be the uh, younger ones and even if uh, um, uh, the separate example i am giving you another example of uh, my student one uh, student uh, got married uh, that is uh, integrated bedmed student and we have given deadline of 14th uh, of this month was deadline to submit the uh, practicum and uh, as she got married she got married and uh, she is living in inaccessible areas and there is no network and uh, um, that means that is under a red zone and she, uh, even if she could not fill up the online form and uh, day before yesterday she phoned and this is the problem so may i allow to um, uh, submit uh, this assignment after one week as i got married and uh, that my in-laws house is very interior area there is no network and uh, it's uh, quite difficult uh, to do this work so these are the things they are uh, quite uh, this is a uh, quite challenging for uh, our students we have to be very careful uh, we have to be careful we have to see their problem or what is happening what they are doing so that is, is very um, um, uh, a quite uh, that is a uh, emerging issue during this covid pandemic and the parents uh, challenges parents preparedness we have to be prepared because we know that our children are most of the tuition teachers are they are not coming coaching centers are closed schools are closed and uh, uh, the students uh, how to prepare them for next day semester and how to progress uh, their studies that we have to prepare ourselves the parents have to take care parents have to nurture their children in different and creative activities we have to engage their students in creative activities motivate as much we can motivate we can we should say that uh, this this condition will not be same very soon uh, it may be solved so you study you will have your exam so you prepare yourself you can watch tv you can do other activities in the same time you can continue your studies that we have to motivate we have to be very careful and in the same time also we have to be very careful what doing when they are having the gadgets in their hand their electronic gadgets whether they are uh, we have to ensure whether they are misusing or, or not so till whether we we have to see that keeping children safe online they are using the online set maintaining family harmony at home because most of the children they fight each other uh, at home we have to maintain harmony we have to make them understand and struggling uh, with the schedules uh, they, there are different schedules uh, that uh, one after the other they have classes they are not having a gap between the classes so that we have to manage them and manage media consumption that we have to also that we have to manage them how to consume properly and coping with the challenges that we have to cope in spite of all the hurdles in spite of all these happenings all these inappropriateness in our family life in our day to day life in our routine life we have to cope because that uh, schools may be closed but while schools are closed we have to ensure that colleges are closed most of the stakeholders we have to ensure we have to know our students what they are doing that uh, most of the non teaching staffs are uh, at home they we can uh, can uh, uh, enquiry we can engage the non teaching staff teaching staffs so you uh, be in touch with your uh, students whether they are uh, um, whether they are uh, all right or not whether they are studying or not 
whether they have any problem otherwise you will see most of the students they are studies they are would be a uh, uh, say, uh, uh, you, you can find a long many more students they are leaving their studies there would be a great uh, um, um, dropout dropout you can find that you have to be ensure that whether your students are in a right track or not whether they are in uh, in touch with their studies whether they are attending online classes whether they are um, prepared for uh, the classes as the, the school, uh, colleges or school will be open so you be in touch with them and as school re will or colleges will reopen prevent increase in dropout that those who students are not turning up you will find that most of the students will go and they will work in different sectors they won't come it was happening as i was there at kolkata in panihati mahavidyalay i could see only 45% students they used to come to the college 60% students they don't come uh, to the college and before the examination you can find before the form fill up you can find or before the puja just uh, within two and three months it's a trend and in degree colleges and you will find those students those who are not coming those who are not regular they won't come also after reopening of the schools and colleges that we have to as a stakeholders we have to be very careful not only psychological crisis because this is at the crisis not only cycle due to the socio economic problem due to the um, they, um, their family problem uh, due to their health problem different problems are there dropout you have to prevent uh, increase in dropouts protect health and safety at schools and colleges that we have to ensure as schools will um, uh, reopen colleges will reopen we have to counsel them that guidance and counseling is very important for the stakeholders we have to counsel them how to cope with the situation how to cover the syllabus how to continue their studies and uh, whatever they are left out in the last semester or their two or three months past within two or three months how they have to cope with the rest of the syllabus and prepare teacher to assess learning loses and close learning uh, gaps and uh, that we have to also be careful the what are the gaps we find uh, between this uh, de, during this uh, um, months we have to also fill the gaps as far as possible and we have to also as a stakeholders we have to be very careful the students they may not be able to the because they are they were not coming to the colleges they come to the colleges so you have to uh, be careful and we have to, have to fill that gap this advantage section of the society the students those who are uh, those who are not having uh, the uh, money enough money or are able to the education we have to protect their education we have to build their uh, uh career we have to prevent their uh drop out so this is the challenges before us before the stakeholders and coping with the challenges and uh, we have to as i told you that uh, this particular uh, um, this particular uh, pandemic that many things and uh, we are uh, not we are acting in many areas we most of us uh, we are uh, only simply we are not uh, trained and we are not uh, having uh, the skills and we are depending uh, in other sectors we, we are not service sectors we are doing giving the service we are not having skills that uh, that is why the economic condition of each and every state that as uh, uh, that um, uh, there is a slow down in our economic and due to covid pandemic and due to the um, closure of uh, um, different uh, um, industries and uh, different uh, business sectors we have to be also very careful we have to start uh, that uh, um, uh, skill based training that we have to that uh, be very careful we have to prepare manpower we are lacking manpower we have uh, we have uh, population large number of population uh, that they are not having enough skills 
that we have to be very careful and curriculum we have to introduce the skill based curriculum we have to give priorities to the skill based and digital skills also training on digital skills that is very important that we have to be very careful we have to be very digitally sound and most of the teachers also that uh, this psychological crisis can be uh, reduced if our teacher can help that uh, to engage them digitally and most of the they are not happy they are not having android sets or they are not uh, uh, having the facilities so we have to think alternative methodology we have to think alternative strategy as that can be accessible to each and every one those who are uh, beyond the um, this uh, online and uh, tec uh, technical um, you know, they are not having this technical uh, facilities so uh, this is the uh, issue that uh, we have to give a, uh, teach to the uh, right level we have to train them we have to train for digital skills and we have to also prepare a calendar meeting the gap meeting the challenges for that coming days that these are the things we are facing problem then we have not covered we are um, having these and these problem during this days so if they are uh, they have not studied or we have not covered those things we can cover as they come back to the uh, institutions we can cover some of the areas as you know that inter Association of Universities, IAU, and Indian Association of University UGC, they have also started various schemes. They have started various strategies to access access our students, facilities to our students, and as they can uh, to promote distance and online learning and developing professional and vocational courses, and to check the dropout and the uh, stagnation. and the innovative way of teaching they are introducing so in spite of all that we have to also uh, we have to be very careful the stakeholders have to be very careful that uh, how to reduce stress because once they are engaged once uh, they are um, their needs are fulfilled they are well motivated they are uh, um, interest are given priorities their needs are given priorities they are uh, challenges are given priorities the students definitely they are uh, um, that means uh, you, we can reduce we can reduce their psychological stress and crisis the psychological stress uh, there is a saying that uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, one man can be uh, physically sound uh, but uh, if he is uh, mentally unhealthy if he is uh, mentally so there is uh, no prosperity so he cannot prosper he cannot prosper towards uh, the development towards uh, the innate potentialities cannot be possible innate uh, tendencies cannot come out as he is psychologically crisis psychologically stress so this pandemic has taught many things we have to be very careful we have to be very cautious and uh, all the stakeholders from the parents from the teachers from the educ administrators the administrators also they have to organize a counseling session for each and every one of the higher education institutions so you understand your students what are their problems and what are their uh, issues or oh, issues they are having and uh, oh, what they uh, would like to tell and what is their feelings uh, for uh, towards their uh, education whether they would like to continue the study or not if they are not coming to colleges or schools regularly you just find out and you encourage them as much as possible and as they were uh, quite uh, time uh, long time they were at home also you engage them if you uh, you have uh, uh, some uh, creative teachers in colleges or you can engage such type of uh, this uh, webinars uh, these workshops can be also we can engage our students why to um, uh, why to uh, that specify only for the Um, uh, teachers or um, um, uh, the administrators or research scholars we can engage each and every one as as they will be engaged they will know the new people they will be inspired and even if we can invite some doctors the uh, this uh, 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 curing for uh, minimizing the stress we can invite the doctors uh, from different uh, institutions uh, that um, psychological institute 
that we can call them and we can help we can counsel them uh, the, our students uh, that uh, they can uh, their problem can be solved their problem can be minimized and we can harness uh, their development we can uh, um, help them for the betterment for the harmonious development for the total development for holistic development for their future lives because once they are derailed once the students are demotivated once the students they are uh, um, um, they are uh, uh, psychologically stressed they are emotionally hypertend they are uh, um, uh, distressed and they cannot come back to the normal life so we have to check it we have to check it beforehand we have to be very careful and all the stakeholders they should organize the counsel session guidance and counseling program should be organized at a college level at school level uh, to minimize the stress to minimize the psychological crisis among the students even uh, uh, and in the same time we should also inquire our uh, children uh, parents of the children and what they are doing how they are spending and utilizing their, their time and uh, whether they are causing trouble at uh, home whether they are doing uh, some mischievous works at home and uh, all these things we have to inquire we have to be very careful that uh, uh, can be um, this, that can be progress in a systematic manner in a, um, a skilled manner that in a, uh, we have to prepare a blueprint for that and accordingly we can proceed and accordingly we can solve the pro individual problems because you know no two individuals are alike and each and every individuals they have different problems they have different uh, um, issues so we have to uh, face it we have to cure it we have to suggest it according to the specific problems according to the uh, specific needs of the individuals so this is all about uh, my uh, feelings and uh, with regard to the psychological crisis of uh, our stakeholders and even if we the we the um, separate example we the teachers we the stakeholders we are uh, both are say for an example the government is issuing letter time to time so uh, the, you do this you do that even if ugc sometimes he is telling there would be no exam after that there would be exam so even if we are in stress what to do and what not to do what to tell to, to the, our students what not to tell our students sometimes we are uh, um, um, that means not telling the truth to the students what is going to be happened because we have to be very careful we have to be careful for our agencies that is government our own state government even if we have to be careful or the notice of the uh, ugc so the administrator the principal the vice chancellor the um, uh, dpis and other um, uh, members engaged in the higher education institutions they have to be very careful they have to plan very properly for minimizing the stress for uh, reducing the stress psychological stress and crisis during this covid 19 even if we can also uh, supply um, as, uh, we can send our teachers to visit our to visit our students to see our students and uh, living in the locality and we can uh, um, uh, uh, safety measures with uh, proper safety measures we can also have a conversation at least once in a week what our students are doing they will be happy enough they will be quite happy my teachers had telephone or if you phone to the parents of your students they will be quite happy yes the teachers are very uh, concerned they are uh, very loyal and they are uh, quite bothered about ourselves what we are doing what is our problems at least they will have a, a positive outlook they will have a positive impression regarding your educational institutions and in that way your uh, institution can prosper your inst institution can grow into a particular level if you take care if you nurture your children because children are and students are the center of educational process they are the heart of educational process they are in the center and we are in the periphery so we have to be give uh, we have to uh, give more priorities to the students interest to the students problems to the students uh, uh, crisis need to be harnessed need to be taken care of as a result of we can uh, 
grow, our institution can grow, our state can grow, and nation can grow in a large extent. So thank you all. This is all about uh, my vision regarding the psychological crisis. I didn't uh, um, highlight much about the psychological crisis because you know, even if uh, uh, the students, uh, they have the different psychological crisis they are facing, but they are not sharing because they feel ashamed to share with their friends, share with the teachers, but they have insight. We can observe them. We can feel it, but it cannot be um, um, visible from outside because you can feel it if you share, if you uh, exchange your ideas or you can gather information from their friends. And even if in few days back, many, many students have committed suicide. Many students have, um, um, many students uh, um, uh, are doing uh, an antisocial works. They are also engaged during this uh, uh, COVID pandemic. They are engaged in antisocial works. They are caught red handed. And so you cannot uh, ignore our students. You have to, as they cannot be derailed, they cannot uh, go beyond the education. There should be linkage, even if we are uh, not in face-to-face uh, -face mode, but we can have a good linkage if we try our level best. We have to inquire, we have to take care, we have to nurture because they are the future citizens of our country. And so our country prosperity depends on our future generation. So we have to be very careful because we as the psychological crisis may not heighten, may not go beyond the control that we have to be careful in this context. So this is all about my vision, all about my thinking about this topic. This is how to cope with this psychological crisis. So I, you know, of the stakeholders, I discuss. So thank you all. Um, if you at all any queries, you can ask. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Hello. Listening. Yes, Swamita, you are audible. Thank you, respected sir, Doctor Amundu Kumar Acharya, for his valuable, informative, and very relevant pedagogic speech. I hope that the student will be greatly benefited for his speech. Thank you again, so and so. May I now request? Hello? Hello? May I audible? Hello? Yes, yes. Continue. Now the time, yes. Now the time to interactive session. Some person? Any person? Here? Yes, you are audible. Hello. May I now request our team at the speaker, respected sir, Dr. Rajiv Shah, Assistant Professor, Department of Teacher Education, the West Bengal University of Teachers Training, Education Planning and Administration, Calcutta, West Bengal. Sir, please. Sir, Dr. Rajiv, sir. Yeah. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Puma Shaha, partner of the national level webinar on psychological crisis of the stakeholders of um, education during pandemic COVID, uh, organized by the Department of Education and IQSC Pranagat College. First of all, I would like to thank Professor Alkumar Maiti, the principal of Ranagat College, and Professor Unodal Mukherjee, IQC coordinator, for giving me the opportunity, giving me the honor to address the participants at this webinar on the theme of psychological crisis of the stakeholders of education. We all, those who are present here, 
um, the principal sir, the IQC coordinator, Uma Madam, Amulla sir, and myself and all the participants. There are some teachers, students, scholars, and so many other people. All are actually stakeholders of education. And the people who are <coughs> helping us in conducting this webinar, the technical friends or technical friends uh, under the leadership of, I think, Sujan Shah. Sujan is doing very uh, interesting work since last few months. Uh, he, uh, he is helping almost all the institutions for organizing this kind of webinar. Without his presence or without the presence of these technical people, it would not be possible for us to address the um, audience, address the webinar, address the audience, address our students, address our colleagues um, in this pandemic situation. So uh, I would also like to thank the um, technical team of this webinar. I'm just taking a few uh, seconds to share my screen first, please. Is it visible? Mm, yes, sir. Continue. Okay. So, on the mid of March, suddenly, whenever I was coming back from my university in the evening, suddenly there was an announcement that uh, from the next week onwards, all the schools, colleges, universities, all the educational institutions will even closed due to combat with the pandemic COVID-19. Earlier uh, in the March, during the end of January, I was in myself in a national level conference organized by um, RIE. At that time, whenever I was in myself, uh, uh, I heard about the COVID-19 for the first time. And we uh, came to know that uh, the spread of COVID-19 has resulted in China in a severe uh, pandemic situation and in a severe kind of um, horrible situations. People are suffering and lockdown was almost uh, in the force. And we were at that moment, we were uh, just uh, criticizing that kind of lockdown, that kind of putting the people in the home, that kind of closing down all the institutions. It was, uh, it seemed to us to be a kind of uh, snatching the human rights to put the, all the people at the home. But after when, uh, we are not so much afraid then. We thought that, uh, okay, this ha has happened in China and this is happening in some other countries in a few number. Uh, but we were not sure that that will come. We will, uh, we will also have to face this kind of pandemic situation. And for the long, almost 50 days, we have faced the uh, complete lockdown announced by us in government. And uh, uh, <coughs> in the, those complete uh, lockdown days, we uh, realized for the first few days, I, it seemed to us to be a that, that some uh, institutions are going to be uh, going to remain closed for the uh, next 15 days or 17 days. We thought that, okay, uh, it's fine. Uh, we will enjoy this day. Uh, we are not getting holidays. But after that, that holidays were extended to June. And then again to July 10th. And now to July 31st, you know, in West Bengal. So, with the passing of time, holidays no more remain as holidays to the students, to the teachers, to other stakeholders also. It has uh, come, it has appeared to be a kind of traumatic situation. It has appeared to be a matter of anxiety. And uh, with the course of time, as the spread of the pandemic COVID is increasing every day, only the last day, there was almost 32,000 infected person added to the previous set. And we have caused almost 1 million of people, infected people in our country. And only in West Bengal, we are having almost more than 1,500 infected people every day. Every moment, every moment, we are very much afraid. We are very much in a uh, situation of anxiety that I may be get. Uh, uh, I, I may be infected. We are also afraid that 
Uh, you know this very well from the previous research of the last six months around the world. Uh, we have come to know that the fatality rate is uh, the mortality rate is very low, three percent or four percent. In a country that is only three point nine percent in the last year, I just this data. But even after that, even after that, we the people are very much affected, very much in an anxious situation. All the people were very much in an anxious situation that what what, what may happen in the future. We will be or we will have to die because of this pandemic. And along with this, why all these thinking are, uh, thoughts are coming in our mind? Because in the normal time, we can engage ourselves in as much as possible activities. If if I, I consider my routine in a normal day, I generally wake up in the morning and get ready for my office, and I have to catch the train of uh, 8 to 9, and I reach the university within 11, and then I Generally, uh, we, uh, we, uh, you all know that uh, our university is a very new university with a very uh, minimum level of uh, minimum number of uh, faculty members and uh, officers and staff. And that's why we even very busy at the university. We don't even have the time. Some, uh, someday we don't even have the time to uh, have our lunch. Uh, and uh, generally, we um, uh, generally we get out of the university at about 5.30 or 6 and someday at 7 also. And whenever after getting up out of the university, we come to Shilagda station and catch the train and come home at about 9 or 9.30. So we remain the whole day very busy and that's why with all the working schedules, with all the working activities, we do not have the time, we cannot have the time to engage our mind with other kind of depressive thinking, other kind of anxious thinking. No, no, we remain anxious. We remain anxious about our work. We remain anxious about our duty. We remain anxious about our responsibilities. We remain anxious about our, uh, 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 when to finish the work, how to finish the work. Will I be able to finish the work at time? We remain anxious about all these things. But we don't remain anxious about uh, we will die tomorrow or not. We will have infection or not. All these kind of things. And we, the... Uh, um, the people who are engaged in the sector of education. Our duty is some, some kind of, uh, somewhat different kind of duty. In comparison to the doctors, the police officers, the other government officials, the businessmen, and other, uh, other people, the politicians, the social workers. Because every individual, every individual profession has its unique duties and responsibilities for the society. Okay, a, a lot of people are saying in the social media, they are criticizing the teachers that they are in the holidays. As government has declared lockdown, almost all the offices uh, are, uh, have, been, have started since the last month, since, uh, since the unlock one phase. And uh, some, some people have to. They are the government officers, the uh, people who are engaged in the private sector, the businessmen, they have to uh, attend their offices, their um, shops, and everything. Uh, there may be that 50% or 70% attendance are ensured, uh, not the 100%, but they have to attend the office twice or twice, or, um, twice in a week. But teachers are taking rest in the home, at home. Uh, a, a number of people are saying, and some people are also saying that the, um, the salary of the teachers should be reduced and that should be. Uh, given to the frontline workers, right, like doctors, police, and other officials. No doubt the doctors, like the work of God at this moment, the temples are closed, the churches are closed, the mosques are closed. Because it is said that because the gods are in the hospitals and in the nursing homes, in the, uh, with the white coat, with the white gown. The police is also doing a great thing. During this pandemic lockdown, they are just they are just engaged, they, are, they have just engaged themselves in the use uh, uh, risk taking work to ensure the lockdown to keep people in a safe uh, situation to uh, ensure the safety of the uh, state and the nation. But teachers, the stakeholders of education, not only teachers, the students, the teachers, the educational administrators, and uh, with some. Other members, the society, community, family, parents, everything, all those, uh, the stakeholders of education are also doing their own job. 
no doubt they cannot go to their institutions their institutions are not open but it is not that they are taking a step home it is not that they are enjoying this closeness of the institution as all the other people it is uh, it is evident from the last uh, three or four months that almost all the people are uh, people are suffering from uh, some kind of mental health problem covid 19 this is a unique situation for our generation this is a very much threatening situation for our generation uh, uh, maybe this is the most uh, pathetic situation we spending for the last few months and um, and that's why the people the government the police the doctors no one have faced this kind of situation and unique situations and Similarly, the stakeholders are also um, suffering from some men mental health issues, psychological impact of COVID-19 are there on the stakeholders of education. My learned friend, uh, Dr. Amulok Maracharjo, has very beautifully presented his uh, speech, his few points regarding the uh, uh, regarding how to cope up with the stress and uh, how to cope up with the stress, uh, stress and anxiety uh, and the uh, caused by uh, pandemic COVID-19. during this uh, particular moment now i will um, have my lecture limited to the mental health issues of the students teachers and educational administrators during covid 19 there are so many other stakeholders also but i am specially i will specially deal with the students teachers and educational administrators in the last few months a lot of lectures lot of paper a lot of lectures have been delivered lot of papers have placed in the Uh, national and international journals regarding the mental health issues of the common people and regarding the mental health issues of the teach, uh, students but very few lectures and very few um, um, papers have been published regarding the mental health issues of the teachers and a very less number of uh, uh, lectures and um, less number of uh, publications have been made regarding the mental health issues of the educational administrators but uh, all are integral part of the total system it is not that the students are only the most important are only the important thing or the teachers are the only important or the educational administrators are the important but all are all the stakeholders stakeholders are very much integral part of the whole educational system without any of the group the educational system cannot survive with its best effect and the aim of education is to prepare the better citizen a better citizen of the state of the nation of the world for the sustainable development of the state of the nation and of the universe so for the for preparing a better citizen for preparing uh, for achieving the uh, uh, oriented uh, uh, achieving the goal of education all the stakeholders should work together uh, uh, all the stakeholders should, should work together so the mental health issues of all the stakeholders should also be taken into account i thought and that's why i um, uh, i will here uh, talk about the mental health issues of students teachers and educational administrators during covid 19 so who are the stakeholders of education anyone who is invested in the welfare or the success of the total education system as i just told that it is not the students only it is not the teachers only it is not the educational administrator only the society the family the community the political leaders the government everyone everybody every group has equal role has important role to invest themselves in the welfare and success of the total educational system in the so uh, um welfare and success of the students Uh, why we are uh, talking much about students the output of the educational systems are manifested through the students because our students are the output of the total educational system the policies which are prepared at the highest level of educational structure are implemented by the teachers and the um, administrators to whom to the students and the students are the policy incarnate of education through them we can incarnate what we are aiming to have to our education so firstly 
I said that there are three groups of stakeholders: the teachers, the students, and the administrators. I have already told the students. Students are the apparently it uh, seems to us that the students are the uh, most important stakeholders of the of education. No doubt, they are one of the most important stakeholders of education because on the one uh, on the one hand they have to take the uh, stake of uh, um, uh, implementing the, the, the take the stake stake of carrying the policies, carrying the aims and objectives of education to, with them to have a better civilization in the uh, uh, in the following time. On the other, other hand, they are also the product of that stake. They are taking the stake, and they are also the product of that stake. That's why they are one of the most important part of the total stakeholders of education. Teachers who implement all the policies, all the aims and objectives at the ground level, at the institutional level, at school, at college, at uh, university, uh, in the classroom, within the classroom situation, uh, uh, while interacting with the students. They are also another important stakeholders and administrators. Administrators in the school, in the college, in the university, in the DI office, in the SI office, in the DPI office, in the educational ministry, in the MHRD, all the administrators, all the are also working very hard, very hard. It is not uh, not that we are, uh, we will be able to uh, implement all the uh, uh, we will be able to achieve all the goal of education without the help of the administrators only by interacting uh, with the students and the teachers. Not this is never possible. Administrators also play a very um, as the stakeholders of education. And next, there comes the staff members. Staff members, rather than students, teachers, and administrators, the staff members of the of every institution, the staff member of every institution, from C group, from uh, radical staff, D group staff, librarians, librarian, from um, the laboratory assistants, and all the other, the cashiers, everyone, everyone, uh, every staff member in every educational institutions are also the stakeholders of education. They also play an important role uh, for the sustainable development of education. Now, then comes the uh, parents and family. No doubt, as students are the stakeholders of education, their parents and their family are also the stakeholders of education. There should be no doubt about it. Parents, they are always concerned about the education of the students, about how they are taking education, where they, are, where they should take education, how should they cope up with the uh, coming problem of the education? How uh, should they achieve their goals? Everything they are sharing, the students are sharing with parents, and parents are also having uh, uh, always engaged. I know some parents, uh, almost all the parents do the same. They also uh, they also engage themselves in studying uh, the syllabus of the of their children, so that they can help their students. The family also. Not only parents, but the family, the other family members uh, uh, of the students, and also I think of the teachers. They also work as the stakeholder of education. And next, there comes community and leaders. Society, community is very much important. School is the miniature of society, and society and community plays very important role uh, as the stakeholder for education. Because without the help of the community, without the cooperation of the community, without the guidance of the community, without understanding the need of the community, without understanding the flow of the community, without understanding the culture of the community, it is not possible. It is not possible to achieve the actual goal of education. So community is also another stakeholder. Community takes from school, takes from educational system, and community contributes to educational system. And that's why community is also another uh, important uh, part of the total stakeholders of education and leaders. Leaders mean the educational leaders and as well as the political leaders of uh, the ministry and uh, uh, the, the minister of education, the chief minister and the other ministers and uh, the uh, MHRT, everything. All the leaders, they are leading our nation, they are leading our state, they are leading our society and these social leaders, these political leaders, these, um, uh, the ministers, they are also playing an important role as the stakeholders of education. But now this is not possible uh, in a single lecture to address all these issues 
and that's why we will uh, limit the, our lecture to three groups the teachers students and the administrators so mental health and uh, actually uh, when lockdown started in our nation the different media uh, news channels were showing that uh, in the morning every day all the marketplaces are very much crowded people are going to market they are uh, they are in the vegetable market in the fish market in the meat market in the grocery shops they are buying vegetables they are buying fishes they are buying meats they are everything they are buying and the cardio situation the, uh, the media was uh, expressing their anxiety people are expressing their fear their anxiety about the uh, the crowd in the market they were uh, everyone was thinking it was still think that uh, corona may spread uh, from this marketplace uh, very rapidly but, but why do we go to market why do we go to market to buy vegetable to buy fish to buy uh, grocery shops because those are very much necessary essential necessities no doubt uh, we could uh, we can limit our going to market by only one or two days in a week some of the people are using this uh, lockdown as uh, uh, for uh, as helpful for buying fresh vegetable fresh fish every day but they should not do this but why are we going to market we need to go to market and we are going to market to buy things buy food buy vegetable buy uh, fruits buy fishes buy meats uh, or everything well, uh, for what because our body our body needs that our hunger we need to satisfy our hunger we need to keep us fit we need to uh, put a nutritious food in our uh, body as uh, dr acharya has already mentioned and that's where we are going to market to buy things look even with the fear of even with the fear of covid 19 even with the fear of pandemic we are uh, taking a mask to cover our uh, mouth and nose uh, some of us are taking gloves Uh, some of our uh, gloves, some of us are taking um, uh, uh, glasses also. Uh, some of us are uh, using cap or uh, face shield, but we are going to market to buy things because we know that we need to keep our body fit. But how many of us earlier thought about keeping our mind? If you count the number of doctors, you will find that ninety-nine percent doctors are there. who are dealing with the physical problems but they are maybe 1% or less than 1% who are dealing with the psychological problems psychological issues of the of the mental health issues of the people and we the general people with the general people generally visit a doctor whenever we are uh, we, uh, we we suffer from a physical problem like fever like uh, cough like sneezing uh, like uh, headache like Uh, ache, uh, at, at any part of the body or any kind of other uh, physical problems we visit a doctor but we generally don't think that we should visit a doctor whenever we are, we are facing a mental problem and moreover there are uh, issues in our society that if you visit a psychological counselor if you if you visit a, a, a doctor with your mental health issue mental health problem the other people will consider you to be mad and that is very shameful and that's why even if somebody some conscious people visit a psychological counselor or visit a, uh, a doctor for uh, his or her mental health issues he or she keeps this visit very secret because society do not get, uh, take it as acceptable they think that oh that man or that woman has got mad and that's why he or she is going to visit a psychological counselor it, and but this mental health mental health is an issue not only during this pandemic time but also at other time also uh, at normal time i mean tell you the issue to everybody everybody everyone uh, has to face anxiety everyone has to face stress and the mental health uh, with uh, his or her mental health allows him or her to cope up with the stress anxiety depression somatization ptsd everything so make my mind as we should keep our body fit physical body fit we should also keep our mental health mind fit and mind fit means we should keep our body healthy we should also keep our mind healthy our mental health should be healthy 
So mental health, what is mental health? Mental health is a cognitive, behavioral and emotional well-being. It is all about how people think, feel and behave. It is all about how people cope up with the coming situation. It is all about how well one is able to cope with the stresses of life. It is all about how well one is able to carry out these or her daily functions. It is all about how one is able to emerge with others, how one is able to mingle with others, others. It is all about how one is between surviving and thriving. It is your mental health that allow you, that enables you to cope up with all the mental health issues, just like anxiety, depression, um, um, fear, uh, somatization, PTSD, and other, all, all kinds of phobia, stress, shame, panic, everything, everything. So, if you consider the factors of mental health, we may find generally two groups of one is socioeconomic factors, and other is biological factors. And uh, socioeconomic factors, we all know what is socioeconomic factors. Uh, some of the socioeconomic factors are modifiable and some of the socioeconomic factors are uh, non modifiable. So the, uh, among the modifiable factors, first of all comes uh, the economic factors. Economic factors. Uh, in the modern age, uh, if you uh, we all are very much um, we all are very much familiar with the uh, economic problem of every people. Every people. It is not that. I have, uh, uh, I, I only earn 100 rupees or 200 rupees every day, that's why I, I only have the problem. But those people who earn 500 crore, uh, crore or uh, 200 crore or 1 crore, 2 crore every day, they also have uh, financial issues. So, economic factor, economic factor is one of the most important social economic factors of mental health. Occupation, occupation, especially the people who are present in this webinar, the teachers, and the students, the teachers, whenever they were not teachers, they were studying, they are preparing their, themselves for, their, for getting a job. They know what is the pressure, uh, what is the uh, issues of uh, mental health. And the students who are now in the higher education system, who are now, who have just completed their math making that uh, um, day, day, day before yesterday, and who are going to uh, complete their secondary uh, today at 4 p.m. and those who are especially, I, I am a teacher uh, in a teacher education university, and I, we deal with uh, the students of BA and MA, and that's why we know that they are uh, they are very much anxious about what occupation they are going to get in the near future. They are very much uncertain. They are always in tension. They are always in dilemma. They are always in a kind of uh, anxiety. So uh, occupation. And those the people who are already in occupation, they are also their occupation, the pressure of their occupation, the natural nature of duty of their occupation, their profession, uh, uh, all these things also create a kind of uh, um, issues for mental health. Uh, all these things are kind of factors of mental health. And social involvement, how much you are involved in, in the society, with what kind of people you are involved in the society, what, with what kind of group you are involved in the society. This, uh, this, uh, these things, these things. Uh, uh, suppose uh, if we consider uh, the political system, the political system of our nation, there is one ruling party at the center, one another ruling party at the state, um, and there are some opposition parties at the center and the state. So uh, it also matters with whom you are engaged. This is a kind of social involvement. Suppose uh, in your home, in your uh, family atmosphere, in your, in your uh, para culture or in your uh, local locality culture, you you are not involved with all the members of the society. You are not uh, very much involved with all the members of the uh, members of your locality, but you are involved with such kind of some kind of groups with whom you are very uh, you are feel very much free to uh, mingle. And this kind of social environment, it is not that every people. Uh, the every people's choice are same. Some love to uh, interact with the educated people, higher educated people, some love to interact with uh, the businessmen, some love to interact with the uh, um, the other people, uh, those who uh, play football or cricket. 
have different kinds of groups are there, and uh, every individual choice is different to mingle with or uh, to involve himself or herself with the social group. And this kind of involvement of the social uh, with the social group is also another factor of uh, mental health issues of every human being. And uh, so uh, it is also the mental health issues of uh, the fact uh, uh, of mental health issues for the teachers as well as of the uh, students and the educational administrators. The education is also an important factor, important factor of mental health issues. So uh, what does it mean? If it is that way, if you are very much educated, if you are high, uh, if you are a, a student of higher education or if you have acquired higher education, your uh, mental health problem is lower. Or if you are not educated, your mental health problem is uh, is increased day by day. It is not like that. Your education, education is differently related. There is no that kind of uh, positive or negative correlation, uh, standard positive or negative correlation between education and mental health. But education uh, somewhat plays up, uh, as a positive force of coping up with the mental health uh, issues. But uh, education is another factor, another important factor of mental health. Your housing status, your housing status, which is also modified, your housing status is another important factor of mental health. Uh, one may ask that how can my housing status be mental health? Just think about the armed fund in the last one. The people in the uh, district of South 24 Paganas, whose house were just the house with uh, the state of either uh, straw or some uh, bamboo materials, they have lost their houses. Whenever Amphan was coming, they were in a uh, state of extreme anxiety that they will, uh, they may lose their, they might lose their house there during the Amphan. Similarly, uh, during this COVID-19, those who are, uh, recently there was a news in the uh, TV channels that 85% uh, of the infected cases are coming from the Flats or complex in Kolkata. So those the people, no doubt. No, I I uh, I also thought uh, uh, the danger of living in a flat. I, I myself also uh, live in a flat in Kolkata, and I thought that whenever you are living in a flat or uh, uh, in an apartment or in a uh, complex, you are sharing the place actually. It is uh, it is true that you have a specified one thousand square feet or one thousand five hundred square feet for yourself. But you will have to use some common place where other people also come and use. But whenever you are uh, uh, living in a uh, in your at your home, uh, you can if you uh, try, you can limit the access of other people. You can limit the access of other people at your home. You can limit only the trading of the family members at your home. So housing status is also another factor of uh, mental health. Uh, uh, so far, non uh, modifiable uh, factors are considered. We have, uh, I have mentioned three things, gender, race, and ethnicity. We know that gender cannot be changed. Uh, though there are some examples in the recent past that some people uh, have changed their gender uh, along uh, with the wish. But uh, generally, this is very much exceptional cases. Generally, we do not change our gender. Race is also another factor which cannot be modified, and ethnicity and culture is also another factor that cannot be modified. And uh, so far, um, the biological issues are concerned. Um, some says that uh, some researchers have published that the um, mental health com uh, conditions are related to somewhat uh, related to the genetic factors. Genes are somewhat responsible for good mental health and bad mental health, for uh, uh, being more anxious and for being able to cope with the anxiety. Gene also plays an important role. Some researchers have published this. Now we will go to common um, mental health disorders. Especially, uh, 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 we will uh, discuss about anxiety disorders, mood disorders, and schizophrenia uh, uh, disorders. Okay, so uh, what is anxiety disorders? Anxiety, we know that anxiety is not really fear. Anxiety is uh, the uh, feeling of uneasiness. Anxiety is the feeling of uh, uneasiness about the forthcoming things, about the present situation. About uh, you can feel that your hands are sweating, your ears are getting red, your ears are getting hot. Uh, uh, you are not uh, in the uh, mood of uh, talking very easily. Your thoughts are being choked. You are 
this kind of uh, uh, you, you can feel this kind of uh, symptoms uh, during your anxiety uh, disorders and anxiety and depression association of india describes anxiety disorders that are most kind of mental most common kind of mental illness okay anxiety is a very much common kind of mental illness and some generally uh, with those who are present here all uh, have faced some examinations in the school level college level university level and it is true that we have all faced some kind of anxiety uh, before entering the uh, examination hall or before uh, uh, while writing the answers of the question papers uh, questions in the examination halls it is also true that some of some of us this anxiety uh, anxiety engulf us in so severe way that we forget the known answers even in the examination hall but some of our some of us can cope up, some of us can cope up with anxiety very very well and they can lose anxiety they can leave anxiety and they can write the answers of the question questions in the uh, examination hall very uh, uh, smoothly then there is mood disorders uh, mood disorders uh, Actually, mood disorders, uh, affective disorder, or depressive disorders. Our mood also differs. Our mood also differs on the situations, on the activities, on the uh, status of the society, on the status of the life we are living. And uh, this is another mental health, important mental health uh, disorder. Uh, you should also cope up to uh, cope up with uh, your mood disorder to have better success in your daily activities. Otherwise, this mood disorder will affect your activity, affect the activity of the students, of the teachers, of the administrators, of the other people very much. If your mood is not in the mood of working, then uh, you will have to, your mental health will have to combat that mood to bring your mood in the mood of activity, in the mood of working. Uh, schizophrenia disorder, this is also. Uh, a kind of uh, disorder. Uh, generally, uh, we consider it as a disease, but uh, mental health authorities, uh, authorities around the world, they are also considering that schizophrenia is more a uh, disorder than a disease. No doubt the disorders can, can also be treated, treated as disease, but like other, other, uh, other diseases, schizophrenia is not a typical kind of disease. Moreover, this is a uh, disorder with a good mental health. With a strong mental health, you can combat. I will see you at the last slide. That with a strong mental health, you will be able to combat with the even with schizophrenic disorder. Now we will uh, move to the problems of uh, every uh, group. Uh, uh, the COVID-19 and mental health. How COVID-19 has uh, put its impact on mental health. COVID-19, uh, already Dr. Atad has mentioned, and uh, we all know that COVID-19 has put its impact very severely upon society, culture, economy, everything. And as mental health is closely related to society, closely related to culture, closely related to our activities, so our mental health is also affected. So as COVID-19 has put its severe impact on society, culture, and economy, it has also put its severe impact on mental health. By creating lockdown, lockdown by uh, putting people at uh, uh, by, but, uh, putting people at staying at home, and uh, with all other its affective features, all other its deadly features, everyone is very much anxious. So one another thing is the teachers, students, and administrators, and the other stakeholders of education, they are very much the product of society, culture, and people, and that's why as COVID-19 has its impact on society, on it has its impact on culture, has its impact on mental health. COVID-19 has its also impact on teachers, students, and administrators. And the teachers, that my mental health of the teachers, the students, and the administrators are also also affected by COVID-19. So, and these are resulted in stress, anxiety, depression, somatization, and other symptomatic. Uh, uh, expression of mental health issues among the teachers, among the students, among the uh, administrators, and all other stakeholders. Stress or no anxiety, I've already discussed. Depression, depression. Um, in the last few days, we have uh, experienced some event that a student in the last month in West Bengal uh, committed suicide because uh, his father could not buy 
in um, uh, Android phone. And as he was not able to, he was a very uh, good student, and he was not able to uh, uh, able to attend the uh, online classes conducted by uh, his school. Uh, he felt depressed, and he thought that uh, uh, he is uh, uh, retreating every day, and that's why uh, because of the uh, lack of the Android phone, because of lacking uh, uh, the access to the uh, online classes. The students day by day uh, was uh, became a victim of uh, severe depression and finally committed suicide. We are all uh, familiar with the uh, um, uh, suicidal case of uh, um, suicidal case of uh, the famous actor Sushant Singh Rajput. Though there is controversy about his suicide, but uh, as uh, the preliminary investigation has said that depression is the cause of his suicide, and some other examples are. So there, the depression is very severe and very affects the factor to all the human beings, especially the students, and somehow the teachers and administrators are also uh, victims of depression. And depression is such a thing that uh, may lead a person to commit suicide. So we should be very much cautious. We should be very much careful to deal with all these issues of um, uh, uh, outcomes of mental health uh, disorders, stress, anxiety, depression, and somatization. So what is somatization? Somatization is very interesting a factor. Uh, somatization, uh, I also, I already mentioned earlier that uh, physical uh, existence is related to psychological existence. And our body is very much closely related to our mind and uh, vice versa, our mind is also related to uh, the, our body. As the illness in our body results uh, in the uh, disorder in our mood, results in the issues of uh, mental health, uh, the, in the issues of our mind. Similarly, the anxiety, stress, depression, all these mental health issues also result in physical expression. You may feel like a kind of a fatigue, a tiredness, a pain, a kind of ache. And this is the physical expression of the psychological disorder. The physical expression of the psychological disorder is called somatization. And somat somatization is very, very common an issue. Um, everyone has to face. Uh, we, we, uh, sometimes we feel that we know nothing. We feel very tired as we are very much uh, uh, as we are very much anxious, as we are very much uh, as we are taking very much stress. We become uh, become very tired, and so so somatization is another expression of the mental health issues. And I think uh, uh, all of us who are present here, all the teachers, all the students, all the scholars, uh, and all other uh, uh, the stakeholders of education, and uh, we have all the uh, audience and the organizers. Those who are present here, all the all are the stakeholders of education. I think all have faced this kind of uh, psychological, mental health uh, issues during the last six months. I think, uh, obviously. Uh, now we will uh, deal with the mental health issues of the students. So I have mentioned some things why uh, they are facing mental health issues during this COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen first COVID nineteen itself is a matter of anxiety because it. It is fatal. It can kill. It can infect you. And uh, if no one wants to die in normal state, everyone is afraid of death. Everyone is afraid of disease. Everyone is afraid of admitted in the hospital. Everyone is afraid of what COVID-19 has caused kill upon our uh, society, upon our world. And that's why COVID-19, the world itself, the disease itself, the virus itself, is the fact is an important factor of causing uh, uh, mental health uh, disorder among the students. COVID-19 has caused staying at home, lockdown. Staying at home is another important factor. On the other time, on normal, uh, during normal time, we generally, the students generally go to school, college, and university. They spend time with, uh, uh, at, at the campus. They, uh, Go to tuitions uh, for themselves. Some of the students also uh, take tuitions. They meet with their students. They play with their friends. They uh, spend time with their friends. They go to movies. Go uh, go to the uh, community programs. They go to uh, um, uh, any kind of cultural uh, function, cultural activities. They are engaged in food, travels, etc. But now, 
for 24 hours they have to stay at home and that staying at home that missing of all the other things other normal activities of life have resulted in severe severe kind of mental health issues among the students the next i will consider the uh, institutions are closed we have already mentioned that because of covid 19 since the mid of uh, march in our state and uh, almost uh, from the end uh, last week of march in our nation all the institutions are uh, all the institutions are uh, institutions are closed and that's why uh, the students cannot uh, be in the campus students cannot be there at the uh, campus to uh, spend time with the students studies are made online i, I think i'm taking uh, too much time i uh, make it first now but the studies are made online and this is another problem only 56 percent of uh, the total population use internet in our nation so how can 100 percent uh, students can access to online studies and some of uh, the students live in uh, such remote areas where network uh, is a big a big is a big issue to attend all the online classes and uh, the lectures even uh, through online one can have only one lecture or two lectures uh, uh, lectures in a day while in the uh, while attending an in institution they can uh, uh, have five or six lectures from five or six different teachers and professors in a, in a day so this is the studies are online but we are uh, uh, the system the educational system is trying to uh, has tried to introduce online teaching learning process to engage all the teachers and the students in a um, in uh, teaching learning processes but this process has resulted in some positive positive factors and also have resulted in some mental health issues of the students as they cannot ac have access to the online studies they cannot have access uh, to have uh, the traditional ways of studies they do not have access to libraries. They are uh, closed at home. They are uh, staying at home. That's why they, are, they do not have access to libraries. So they can, cannot have sufficient material to, uh, uh, to progress their study. Economic crisis is another big factor. All the families are not same equal, uh, economically sound. That's why a number of families, a number of families of the students are suffering economically. And a, a, a number of students of uh, college level, university level, and education level they also give tuitions and during this pandemic time their tuitions are, uh, are not working that's why they cannot earn money uh, uh, and that's why their economic status is uh, becoming poor and poor every day and so this is economic crisis is also becoming a kind of mental uh, factor for the students we are group crisis whenever they visit whenever the students visit uh, the campus they uh, are in the classroom they are in the uh, uh, friends group uh, they can share their views, they can uh, release their stress, they can release their anxiety, but whenever they are not, uh, they cannot do this, all these things physically. Somehow they are doing this uh, using social media and other things uh, by video calls. Uh, but uh, these are not the sufficient thing to replace the uh, whole normal, uh, no, normal life activities. Classroom environment, they are also missing. Whenever they are attending an uh, online class, they are uh, either attending, uh, they are attending from their home, uh, at home, uh, he or she is alone. Some of them, I, whenever I was taking the online class, some of them, I saw, I saw that some of them are lying on the bed and just uh, in the mobile, some of them just uh, attend the class. Uh, uh, there is the atmosphere, the classroom atmosphere was not there. The classroom env environment, which is very much helpful for teaching learning process, that was not there. And that's why they are, uh, this kind of uh, learning could not motivate them cannot motivate them and that's why they are also facing some mental health issues they cannot uh, attend the classes with full concentration teachers uh, the student teachers are not only the educators teachers the friends philosophers and guides they can share not only the academic issues but also the other kind of other all kind of issues along with uh, the uh, with, with the teachers so, uh, so, uh, and uh, uh, the students most of the time they spend with teachers and i uh, i was uh, in a school for long 10 years and i saw that the students believe their teachers more than they believe their parents somewhat. Uh, and that's why uh, as they cannot share their views face to face with the teachers, they cannot share their views, their, their problems, share their issues, share, uh, take the guidance of the teachers regarding not only about, uh, regarding their education, but also regarding the future, their personal life, their public life. They are having, uh, they, are, they do not have the chance to release their uh, stress. They do not have the chance to cope up with anxiety. And that's why, 
teachers, the absence of teachers also played an important role for creating mental health issues of the students. Now we will move to the mental health issues of the teachers. Uh, some common factors are there. COVID-19 itself, staying at home, these two are common factors of the teachers. Institutions closed. This is also and the common factors of the teachers. Now, uh, uh, studies are online also. Here, the problem is somewhat different. The students cannot be face to uh, the students cannot participate uh, cannot participate because of the uh, of the lack of uh, whatever I said their digital access uh, or some other problems. But teachers, teachers generally, they all the teachers have digital access, but they are feeling problem because uh, as I am giving this uh, speech in a general seminar, what happens whenever I uh, deliver a speech on the dais, I can see the faces of the audience. I can see the expression of the audience. I can change the uh, uh, delivery of my lecture, then the delivery of my speech, uh, explain some points of the speech according to the need of the audience by reading the face of the audience. But now I cannot see the audience. And that's why uh, it is a big problem for teachers also, because on the online studies, uh, they cannot, uh, a teacher cannot uh, see all the students together uh, in a classroom situation. and uh, it is very tough for him also, or him or her, uh, for a teacher also, to motivate him or her or up the best effective uh, teaching learning session in an online class. Crisis of libraries is also a factor for teachers to prepare uh, themselves for giving the best effective uh, teaching learning session in a classroom. Uh, classroom environment, he also misses, the teacher also misses the classroom environment because uh, I have already mentioned that teaching learning uh, most. Uh, as it depends on the classroom environment. Learning environment is a factor. Uh, the students also learn with the learning environment. Teachers also teach with the learning and uh, teaching learning environment. So the classroom environment, we are very much familiar with the traditional structure of a classroom. And that's why the classroom environment is very much motivating to us. And whenever we are teaching online, we are just missing the classroom environment in the uh, uh, in, uh, in online, missing the staff room. This is another uh, uh, important uh, place where the teachers uh, have uh, can have academic discussion along with all other discussions. Not only academic discussion, they can also uh, uh, discuss regarding all the personal issues, public issues, political issues, social issues, and thereby they can have some new views, authentic views, novel views regarding the life, regarding the society, regarding the politics, regarding the economy, and everything. They can have suggestions regarding life. They can have. Uh, uh, they can have a uh, speed of mind to cope up with all the mental health issues, but now they are missing that stuff. And whenever they are at home, they are very much afraid, they are very much anxious about their family, about their family members. The teachers have their, uh, may have their parents, may have uh, their uh, uh, spouse, may have their uh, children at home, and uh, because of the COVID-19 infection, and COVID-19 pandemic, they are very much anxious about the family. And that anxiety always diverts a teacher from devoting himself or herself totally in the teaching learning process whenever he is giving teaching learning, delivering teaching learning for online. And economic crisis, uh, one may say that uh, how can teacher uh, uh, suffer from this economic crisis? Economic crisis is a factor. Economic crisis is a factor to those who are contractual teachers, who are teachers in the private sectors. There are almost 600 private teachers training institutions in your state. And the teachers, most uh, uh, we have uh, heard that uh, a lot of institutions could not uh, pay, pay to the teachers because uh, of the lack of money. And that's why a lot of teachers also are suffering from economic crisis. And so uh, economic crisis can also uh, give rise to mental health issues of the teachers. Now we move to the mental health issues of the administrators. Again, here we have some common problems such as um, uh, COVID-19 itself, family, stay home, diversions, these all things. Some new novel things are there also. Uh, one is that uh, the uh, project implementation. As the situation has changed, and situation is changing every day, the central government, state government, the educational uh, uh, bodies uh, are every taking new and new projects. Suppose, just I am giving examples of school, school teachers, the headmasters. The government had decided to distribute uh, some uh, distribute some uh, rice, potatoes, some activities uh, among the students uh, twice, uh, once a month or twice a month in the schools. And the, the headmasters, especially the HY of the institutions, headmaster or the headmistress and some other staffs also, 
has uh, have to attend the school to distribute all these things and this is seriously traumatic whenever all are uh, uh, afraid of a uh, crowd all are afraid of uh, uh, getting in touch with other people so uh, they they have to distribute uh, those, all those things to teachers and the uh, uh, government has also taken the initiative of introducing online education government has also uh, taken the initiative for uh, teaching through, through television channels and other things and some teachers some administrators have has to uh, have to uh, uh, implement all these projects implement all these policies and they have to work hard they have to be in touch with other people they have to come out of the home even if staying at home is compulsory during this pandemic covid so uh, on the one hand they are staying at home that is causing mental health issues on the other hand there is uh, uh, coming out of the home to implement all the proje projects and policies of the government keeping office open is another issue keeping office open means the administrators has to keep office they uh, keep their office open either physically or virtually if they are uh, they are keeping their office uh, open for um, uh, physically they are uh, opening their school college universities once a week or twice a week or twice a week but they have to keep their office open virtually 24 hours a day every time they have to listen to the problems of the teachers students the other other uh, people in, involved in the educational system and also their bosses uh, also their uh, uh, superiors those who are sending instructions to them that's why every moment they have to be cautious about opening their office either physically or virtually scheduling future policy the educational administrators administrators those who are uh, situated in the ict nct dpr uh, office and the uh, ministry of uh, education or mhrt or they are every day the situation is changing that's why they are also in a dilemma what to schedule what to schedule when to schedule uh, when to start the next semester when to uh, conduct the examination should i conduct the examination or not every day every day they are facing new problems and that's why they have to schedule new and new uh, policies for the future and that is also creating dilemma among them sets and that is also creating dilemma among the teachers and students and uh, the uh, other stakeholders of education opening up with the with politics this is another issue this politics uh, that uh, the political leaders are also very much responsible uh, uh, very much uh, uh, re responsible for implementing all the uh, uh, achieving the goals of education and that's why they are also trying to uh, uh, do their best to with their own political philosophy and political views the educational administrators also have to cope up with all these political issues or the political views the views of the political leaders which is enriched with their political philosophy so educational administrator also uh, has to cope up with the issues uh, with the uh, guidance given by the state government guidance given by the central government and uh, they have to see the learning policy, policy with the guidance of the state and the central uh, health issues are there uh, as uh, almost all the uh, educational administrators they are senior members of the society uh, they are they are of the age group more than 40s or uh, more that's why they may have some health issues uh, which is also uh, uh, called comorbidity and the comorbidity is very much better uh, for uh, covid-19 infection and that's why they are very much anxious they are very much uh, their mental health are affected by the health issues of the um, administrators now human resource management is another factor recently there is a uh, order from the state government school education department that if the uh, head of the institution with the necessity he or she can call all the staff members all the teacher members in the school during distribution of uh, those potatoes rice and activities uh, why should they uh, uh, have to uh, why, why had they to uh, issue that kind of order because the administrators the headmasters of the hois could not uh, manage all the staff to come uh, even the uh, helpful uh, handful of staff to come to help him so that he or she may implement the policy uh, as guided by the state government or central government in the institution that's why human resource management is very much very much a, a complex issue for the educational administrators because if he calls uh, one and does not call other the who he call he will feel that or uh, she will feel that Uh, the HY or the administrator is giving a kind of punishment to him. So uh, human resources management is also another kind of issue uh, for the uh, mental health factors of the administrators. Uh, now we will move to uh, uh, 
diagram angle. The vulnerability plus hazards by capacity voltage test. In the previous uh, lecture, I uh, mentioned uh, this uh, diagram that uh, disaster is caused by vulnerability plus hazards by capacity. And when there is disaster, there is the concept of disaster management. But what is vulnerability here? Vulnerability is the social status. Are you a student? Are you a teacher? Are you, um, um, are you an administrator? What is your uh, social position? What is your ethnicity? What is your age? How? Uh, how? Uh, what is your economic status? These are all the vulnerability of the uh, stakeholders of education. And what are hazards? The pandemic, COVID-19 itself is the hazard. And capacity is your mental health. And whenever this vulnerability plus pandemic, so such status plus pandemic is divided by mental health, you can have the issues of mental health. That is disaster. And that disaster uh, appear uh, with stress, depression, anxiety, and somatization. Uh, stress, how much stress? The amount of stress. The, Depression, the amount of depression, the amount of anxiety, the amount of somatization is the uh, product of social status plus pandemic by mental health. If your mental health is too good enough, your vulner vulnerability is low enough, then the amount of all these uh, outcomes will be lower. But if your vulnerability is high enough and mental health is, uh, is bad enough, then the amount of all these uh, outcomes will be higher. And so for disaster management, uh, uh, here the disaster management is keeping your mental health healthy. You should keep your mental health healthy. Now, how can we manage our mental health? So we have already mentioned that as we give importance to our physical health, we should also give importance to our mental health. Now, WHO and MHRD has given some uh, guidelines for keeping health. Physical activity, you should keep your active, uh, body active as you are, we are in home now, we should keep our body active every day to keep our men, uh, mind fresh. Healthy diet already Dr. Acharya has mentioned, I am not going to mention it. Keep informed, you should keep yourself informed about the pending, about the present situation from authentic sources, not from uh, uh, that kind of WhatsApp university sources or other sources, unauthentic sources. You should keep in yourself informed, have a routine. Uh, no doubt you are at home, there is no work pressure, but you should, one should keep a routine for every day. Uh, every day, uh, he should, uh, one should rise, uh, get up at a particular moment, have lunch at a particular moment, have tiffin at a particular moment, have some uh, uh, space for entertainment and other things. Minimize news feeds. It is not necessary for everybody to uh, uh, listen to news from morning to evening. Just go to one or two times to news and get the information uh, 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 at first hand. From authentic news, national or localized news, uh, local authentic news channels. Social contact is important, but uh, as we are in a lockdown situation, as we are by instructed to stay at home, so social contact may be made through social media and other online uh, platform. But uh, you should not keep yourself distracted, they are uh, totally isolated from other people, other from the members of the society. So you should yeah, keep yourself in contact with the other uh, your friends, your family, your relatives through telephone or mobile phone or internet or uh, social media, etc. One important thing that uh, Dr. Acharya has mentioned that uh, many people in depression and anxiety have engaged themselves in uh, smoking, alcohol, drugs, uh, this kind of abusive things. But WHO is guiding us that one should not engage themselves. Uh, one should not engage themselves for the first time uh, in alcohol or drug or smoking, uh, all these things for, uh, during this pandemic. Moreover, those who were habituated uh, with smoking or with alcohol or with drug, they should also try to quit alcohol, try to quit drug, try to quit smoking, because this will not know research has established that this will help you to combat with the COVID-19, but that will also affect your body and uh, as well as your mental health. So you should try to learn how to quit alcohol, drug, and other uh, smoking and other abusive things. Screen time break is very much important. You should not spend the whole day in front of a screen. If you are walking from home, also you should take a break. You should not spend the whole time in front of the laptop screen or a mobile screen. As you have no work, you are just spending uh, total time on in social media or watching movie on screen. But you should take screen time break. Always you should not involved in front of a screen. Helping others is um, another important thing. If you are capable enough. Uh, so, uh, capable in, uh, enough, you should help others who are suffering uh, because of this COVID-19. Uh, COVID because helping others gives you your mind a kind of tranquility. It gives your mind a kind of power that 
enables to have a good mental health, support health workers. They are really the frontline warriors of this COVID-19 combat, and uh, they are facing the most troubles. And we should support them. We should not hate them. We should not create trouble to them. We should not uh, 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 torture them. We should not psychologically uh, demotivate them. We should always support, if possible, by going going by them, or if possible by just putting my voice in support of the uh, workers. Don't discriminate yourself from others. No doubt you are in fear. No doubt you are in anxiety, or no doubt a person who has been infected by COVID-19, you know that you should stay at physical distance from them, but don't discriminate him or her who is infected or don't discriminate yourself from those patients, those health workers, those police who are spending time on the road in the hospitals uh, or who are suffering from the disease. You should not discriminate. If you discriminate yourself, it will not decrease your uh, anxiety, it will not decrease your stress, it will again decrease your, increase your anxiety and stress. It will uh, uh, not be helpful for managing your mental health. MSID has uh, instructed something that uh, MSID instructed us to uh, uh, spend quality time with family for students. Learning can be fun. Uh, fa uh, learning with fun. Uh, we have uh, jo uh, already uh, familiar with the fact of joyful learning. And joyful learning is very much effective this, uh, in this kind of situation. So parents and the teachers should be uh, 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 should be motivating enough, should be active enough so that students can have joyful learning. Interactive online classes, online classes should not be only lecture the teachers. The students should also be there with video and audio presentation. They should also be interactive. They should ask questions. They should interact with the teachers. And teachers should also allow them to interact. So that it will be helpful for not only for the students, that will also be helpful for the teachers. Empower ad adolescent peer support of uh, the students who are uh, of adolescent group. They suffer most from this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and they should have proper support from the peer group, from the parents, from the teachers, and from other social society and community members. And so, for teachers are concerned, concerned has instituted that learning with life skills. The examples come out from our lives. We should use examples. We should use our life skills. We should use education. We should not carry education, as Rubinath says that. We should not carry education on, as burden on our head. We should take education to carry us. We should use education as a, uh, uh, as a vehicle of our life. Engage in playful activities for that like, uh, joyful learning or funny learning. Provide support and attention. Uh, teachers should provide support and attention to students and they should also uh, support and uh, uh, give attention to other colleagues. They should always be in interaction uh, with, their, with their colleagues so that uh, to support their uh, issues and problems um, so that they, can, they may overcome uh, with the uh, problem of mental health. Now I will go to the final uh, slide of my presentation. Uh, I have taken much time, I think. Uh, the students, teachers, administrators. These are the most, uh, uh, most important three uh, groups of stakeholders I have mentioned. And there are other stakeholders also, like uh, society, community, family, parents, and other things. But uh, uh, we should not fight individually with this and uh, with the mental health issues resulted by the COVID-19 situation during the last four months or five months or six months. We should combat together. We should make a group. We should make a group to combat with the fear of COVID-19. Because just if we consider these as the shield of COVID-19, and if we consider these as the this uh, blue circle as the shield of our, our educational stakeholders, then uh, it uh, shows that if we are together, we can fight the mental health issues caused by COVID-19 uh, better. But if we are individual group, suppose the student group are only the group. To combat with uh, the COVID-19 situation, so uh, the shield, the size of the shield of COVID-19 is bigger than that of the students, than that of the administrator individually, than that of the teacher. So the total shield, so all the stakeholders should be with each other, should cooperate with each other, should help each other, should listen to each other, should uh, uh, discuss the problem of each other. One should, should not be motivated. 
the others. Everyone motivate others, motivate the students, the teachers, the administrators, the society, the community. I think the students and the teachers and administrators are performing their role very well in the last four or five months. But uh, um, and they are trying not only to motivate the students, the teachers and administrators uh, uh, in, in vice versa way, but they are also trying to help the society, the community, the family, the parents, the other stakeholders, the political leaders, the social workers, everyone. But some of the group of the society are not with the teachers, are not with the students, not with the administrators. They are always engaged in the process of criticizing the teachers, the students, the administrators. But that will not be effective. That will not help us to combat with the uh, issues, mental health issues caused by the um, COVID-19. And uh, it is not that that, uh, that problem will affect only the students or the teachers or the administrators. If the students and the teachers and the administrators or the stakeholders of education are affected by the mental health issues uh, due to COVID-19 pandemic, that will that will pass into the common members of the society. So we should very much be careful to group together to group together to combat with corona, and only then we can have a healthy mental health, with colorful mental health. Only then we could have a healthy mental health to fight with the issues of stress, anxiety, depression, somatization. And we can overcome the present pandemic situation to have a new normal world. Maybe as everyone is saying that we may not have the previous world to get that in the future. We will have a new normal, or, or most I prefer to use new normal in the near future. So everyone should be hand to hand, hand in hand, to fight with this situation, to uh, fight with the issues of mental health, so that we may have a better mental health to live and to let live others in the new normal age. Thank you all for giving me the opportunity, giving me the honor to express my views regarding the mental health issues of the students, teachers, and the other um, admi educational administrators in this country. Uh, thank you all again. Stay cautious and stay safe and keep your mental health healthy. And uh, if uh, you feel any kind of problem, you should contact any of your near and dear ones whom you think that he or she may guide you to overcome your issues. Thank you all again. Thank you, Dr. Saha, Rajiv Saha, for your beautiful presentation. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Rajiv. Thank Thank you very much, informative, and you spoke well. I think I have taken 20 minutes more <laughs> than the scheduled hour. Okay, it does not matter. Hello, Shomamran Sintavachan. Hello. Hello. Someone has disconnected by Gachi. Yes, any other faculties there Hello, Swaman. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes, come. Yes, ma'am, continue. Hello. You are audible, ma'am. Yes. Sorry, yes, yes, sorry for technical fault. Yes, sorry for technical fault. Thank you, Dr. Rajiv Shah, for his valuable, meaningful, and informative speech. Very good afternoon. Now, vote for thanks. Myself, Shoma Shah, teacher of Ranagat College Education Department. I want to say 
that one without whom we would not be able to complete today event is our honorable principal sir dr amun dr arup kumar maithi i express my thanks to the coordinator of iqac dr purnadai mukherji i big thank you speaker respected sir dr amulya kumar acharya and respected sir dr rajiv shah making this webinar very very meaningful and informative and also relevant thanks to technical team a special thanks to dr rajiv shah for giving me overall support i also wish to express my thanks to my colleague at last thanks participate for your cooperation ajker ei webinar er pore amar je mul boktobbo ami shongkhepe apnader samne tule dhorte chai amra jani na je kal ki hote pare ba kichukkhon pore ki hobe tai ei shomoy dariye ajker ei webinar amader manoshik dik theke sokol ke samriddhoshari kore tulbe ei asha rekhe sokol ke amar antorik shubhechha janiye ajker ei webinar ami ekhanei samapto korchi thank you thanks for all thank you tomorrow uh, print for which matter okay okay thank you so much okay. thank you thanks to all